you can show this difference rs this 25 you can add back to your principal why because anyhow you are supposed to pay this 25 better in the column these are the informations we have so we are supposed to calculate now here loan amortization your installment now what is your installment will find multiplied with 15 percent this one this is nothing but 3 minus 4 this is nothing but 2 minus 5 hello everyone this is your other sir lecture in vidya Ashram first grade college the temple of excellence so we are in the 12th session of your topic called time value of money under time value of money as you know that we have done so many problems on present value future value as well as your loan amortization so today we are doing the last session on time value of money in today's problem we will work out two problems on your loan amortization the agenda is very simple along with doing problem we will understand the concept also concept as well as problems on amortization your problem number one the first problem from the following information calculate loan amortization schedule you are supposed to calculate loan amortization schedule now loan amount is 20,000 rate of interest 5% repayment schedule 6 installment annuity rate it is 5.071 as you know that what is the calculation before we start our problem we should write what we should write your loan amortization your installment now what is your installment we'll find out now your loan amount loan amount divided by what is your annuity rate annuity rate how much it is 5071 loan amount is 20,000 divided by annuity rate comes around 5.071 20,000 divided by 5.071 we'll divide this so what is your answer 20,000 divided by 5.071 what is your answer you got 3,943 3943 I can make it as a 3944 we will round off this 3944 is your installment again I'll come back to this 20,000 divided by what is the annuity 5.071 3943 I'll call it as 3944 now we got our installment I'll go to your answer directly so in this I have not made any shortcuts it is already done in the first problem I did all this one two three and all in this already I have written now in this what is the shortcuts we had in the last problem same thing we will follow now as per this your interest part your principal and your balance now how do you calculate your interest your second column second column multiplied with what is the percentage i'll come back to this the percentage is five percent so multiplied with five percent how do you get your principal column your installment remember installment column number three minus column number four you will get your principal how do you get your balance column go to column number two minus column number five you will get your balance column these are the informations we have so we are supposed to calculate now here beginning installment interest principal as well as balance now so we'll start with the first year so how many years we have total we have six equal installments now year one year two three four five six now year one year two year three year four year five and year six one two three four five six now so according to this we'll go for the calculation beginning installment interest principal as well as balance now what is the beginning 
The beginning is your 20,000. The first value we call it as beginning. Now, the beginning we call it as 20,000. Now, what is the installment? Now we'll go for the installment. Before that, before that, your installment, whatever we calculated, we'll check. You got 3,944. So, your first year, 3,944. Second, 3,944. Third year, 3,944. Fourth year, 3,944. Fifth year, 3,944. And your sixth year, 3,944. Whatever you have divided, the same thing you are supposed to write. Now it is done. What is the interest part? As you know, we calculate on the right side. So, on 20,000 first year, on 20,000, 5%. How much you will get? You will get 1,000. Write 1,000 as your interest. What is the principle? 3 minus 4. These are 3 and this is 4. This minus this, 2,000. 944. What is the balance? 2 minus 5. Go back to your 2. Minus 5. How much you will get? So, your 20,000 minus 2,944. How much it is? 17,056. This is your first year calculation. Now, whatever answer you got, it will go to your column number two, 17,056. Now, similarly, we'll calculate interest for second year. So, your second year calculation, 17,056 multiplied with 5%. So, if you calculate 5%, you will get 853. How much it is? 853. Three. So, this will be 853. So, what is the principal column? So, 3 minus 4, 3 minus 4, minus 3,944, you got 3,091. 3,091. What is this column? Six, this column is 2 minus 5. Go to 2, 17,000. 17056, you got 13,965. 13,965 is your answer. Up to second year we completed, we'll go for year 3. Now, your year 3 is how much? 13,000. Year 3 is how much? 13,965. Your 13,965 is called as year 3. Now, on this you are supposed to calculate interest. Now, 13,965 year 3, 13,965 multiplied with 5%. 5%, you will get 698. 698. So, how much you got? 698. So, you got 698. Now, what you are supposed to do? 3 minus 4. What is your 3? So, your column number 3 is 3,944. 3, your answer is 3,246. 3,246. Now, what is your balance column? 2 minus 5. Go back to your 2. Minus 13,000. So, it is 3,246 minus your 13,965. So, you got 10,719. Similarly, it will go back to your column number 4. 10,719. So, again, you are supposed to calculate interest for the fourth year. 10,000. 719 multiplied with 5%. Multiplied with 5%, you will get 536. 536. Write on this 536. 
Now, what is your answer? So, your answer is you are supposed to minus from your installment. Now, minus 3944, you will get 3408. Your answer is 3408. This is your principal column. If you want to go for your balance, the same thing you are supposed to deduct from your column number 2. Now, I will go to column number 2 minus 10,719. You got 7,311. 7,311. Again, it will come back to your column number 2, 7,311. 7,311. So, again, come back to this. How much you will get? So, remember, these are the rows. Yes. 7,311 we got. Now, 7,311 what we can do? 7,311 you calculate interest. 50 year. 7,311 multiplied with 5%. Into 5%, you got 365. 365. Write down this 365. Now, 365 is over. Now, again, come back to this. So, 3,944 minus 365. 3,944. So, how much you got? 3,578. 3,578. So, what is your final answer? Again, I'll come back to this. So, 3,578 minus your 7,311. So, simple calculation, the same thing I am following here. 3,732, 3,732, same thing right here also, 3,732, calculate interest, so your sixth year, 3,732 multiplied with 5%, how much you will get, so if you calculate 5%, you will get 187. So 187 is what? Your interest. So 187 minus 3944. You will get 3757. 3757. Now from this if you minus this. Minus 3732. You will get around 25 rupee difference. So, remember, as I told you, we will not round off, we have rounded off everything, that's why everywhere you will get 1 rupee, 2 rupee difference, that's why finally you will get difference of 20 to 25 rupees. You can show this difference, or else this 25, you can add back to your principal. Why? Because anyhow, you are supposed to pay this 25, better in the last installment you can consider as your installment. Now, this is all about your loan amortization table. Now, I'll go back to your previous slide so that you can take screenshot. So, this is your problem number two and this is your loan amortization table. Now, we'll go to your problem number 12, the last problem on loan amortization. I'll not do this problem, but this will be homework for you. Once you're done with your homework, please text me in the message box or else in your chat box, what is the answer for this. In the next session, I'll give you the answer or else if you text me in the chat box, I can reply you what is the answer. Now, just I explain you what is the procedure now. You are supposed to find out installment. You are supposed to find out installment. What is your installment? The procedure is loan amount divided by what is that? Your annuity rate. Annuity rate. What is the loan amount we have? We have loan amount of 20 lakh. What is the annuity rate? We have 3.3520. So, how much installment you will get? So, if you calculate this, 20 lakh 
divided by 3.3520 you will get 5 lakh 96,658. Now, what you are supposed to answer me? Once you've done your homework, you are supposed to answer me how much the closing balance you got. In the previous problem, we got 25 rupees. Similarly, if you work out this, how much the closing balance you will get? That amount you are supposed to message me in the chat box in the YouTube one. Now, in this, what is your installment? 5 lakh 96, 658. 5 lakh 96, 658. 658, first year. 5 lakh 96, 650. I made it 9 rupee. I rounded off 9. Second year. Third year, 5 lakh 96, 659. Fourth year, 5 lakh 96, 659. And the fifth year, 5 lakh 96, 659. Similarly, your year we can call it as 1, year 2, year 3, year 4, and year 5. What is the beginning? Beginning we start with 20 lakh. So, up to this I have done, I have showed you what is the installment also. I showed you how to write the beginning also. And I'll write on this thing also. So, your 2 multiplied with 15%. This one, this is nothing but 3 minus 4. This is nothing but 2 minus 5. All these shortcuts I have given, the installment also given, what is the beginning of the year that is also mentioned and even the procedure also I have explained you. You are supposed to tell me what is the balance. This has to be messaged in the chat box. There is a homework. Remember, homework on loan amortization. Hope you are clear. I will go back to previous slides so that you can take screenshot of the question. So this is a question you are supposed to solve. Yes, this is all about your today's session. We're done with your loan amortization. As I told you, work out the previous problem later. Whatever homework I have given, please work out at home. It is an interesting topic as well as you will learn much in this topic. Thank you.